Hello there. So uh, today I wanted to kind of talk a bit about um, gradings, like traditional martial art gradings. I can only really speak from my own uh, experience with um, traditional jiu-jitsu here, but um, I'm assuming that they're kind of all very similar to each other. So traditional gradings are you know, when you move from one belt to the next, um, typically it's just a demonstration of techniques. So, I mean, um, whether I think they're good or not, I do think they're good because I think when you're practicing techniques in like the sort of dojo environment, you're doing it in a very sort of easy, stress-free way. And when you do a grading, you sort of put under pressure on the spot. There's a lot of pressure that you're putting on yourself to perform, everyone's watching you. Um, and that pressure really actually has a big impact on your ability to perform. And it's important for people to really feel and get an appreciation for that, as well as being able to get used to it over time. The more gradings you do, um, the better you get at like being able to cope with pressure and perform to a good standard under pressure. So I think that's a useful aspect of it. Um, uh, I think the best way to think of one, like if you're doing them, is essentially you're trying to demonstrate your ability to perform this technique in like as close to real circumstances as possible. So you've got to think, uh, imagine it's like a real scenario, you've got to do it as effectively as you can and with as much sort of control as possible. It's easy to get panicked and like mess up your technique because you're trying to, I don't know, be too fast or you use too much brute force and not enough technique or like things can mess you up and you got to learn to like reset yourself in between each thing as well. There's quite a lot that you can gain from them so I do think they are useful and that kind of goes into like the belt system as well because more a lot of the more modern or like sporty type um, martial art things don't have like belt systems or gradings because which is I'm not saying that it's like bad it's like you have to have them but I think uh, there's definitely benefit and use to that sort of system and way of doing things um, so yeah, I'm trying to think of any other sort of advice for gradings, because I've done quite a lot myself. Um, I suppose the reality is it's just about when you're preparing for one, it's just it's just like repetition. You got to because because whatever standard you're at now, when you're practicing safely and nicely in your dojo or happy smiley, when you're under pressure and you get adrenaline and all of these things affecting you, your standard will drop. So you gotta make sure that your standard is above that now that you want it to be, so that when you're actually doing the grading, it goes to a good level, if that makes sense. So if you want to, if your standard's about here and this is where you want it to be for your grading, it's gonna actually be down here for your grading. So it's gotta be like up here instead in the dojo. So, um, as for the pressure side of things, that's just something you got to get used to over time. Um, so yeah, that's a bit about gradings. Let me know if, uh, how you feel about them as well, and I'll see you in the next video.